Well, hello everybody. It's me, Kelly, obviously, since you're watching my video. Um, I wanted to show you something today. Hopefully this will be a 20 minutes or less. I'm going to try and do it in less than 20 minutes. Um, but what I have is I was given this in a hacky mail. And I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. And then I thought, oh, how perfect would it be, you know, for well, whatever reason. I mean, I like the idea of using it as a as a small mini journal, you know, um, that's chipboard, real thin, or it could be cardboard, either way, but I just thought it was a really cute idea. Now, I made one myself, and let me see, trying to, okay, I think that this one got stuck under, ah! I just needed one more. See, I did the same thing and it was really, really easy. And you can customize it any which way you want. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm going to set these two aside and we'll start the timer. Well, it's about two minutes in. So I, what I did was I used a file folder, okay? And I measured the width I wanted and Let's see, this one is a little bit big, so let's try and make a smaller one, okay? But I like the width of it, so, oh, it's about the right width. All right, so if we, we'll go ahead and we'll do this right here like this. All right, I'm going to get my cutter. Now what I did do, also using the file folder, you see at the at the bottom, they have those little score lines. Well, I used one end and then the very next one as my score. It was already there. So, let's see, here we go. Just make it a little bit. Make sure that's even. And we're going to cut it. Okay, now I don't throw these out. I use these. And there we go. Now, what I want to do is I've got two pieces of paper already picked out for the front, which is that one, and then for the back. And these are the ones I'm going to use. But first off, I'm going to go ahead and just use the top of this one as a guide. Oh, come on. How many more? One more? Two more? There we go. The top of this is a guide just to cut my corners. You can tell I'm very, very, very particular, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell. So. And there we go. And we will set this one aside. <sighs> then I will take, making sure both sides are meeting up along with this being right here. Okay. It's very detailed. Can you tell? Look how easy that was. Now I'm going to open this. Now if you wanted, you could erase the little bitty pencil. I do sometimes, but I'm, since I'm covering it, it's not going to be a big deal. All right, and I want this side. Because I want the word on there along with the birds. So... This is how precise this is. Can you tell? I'm just overwhelmed with all of these measurements and everything else that goes along with it. Wow, that was hard, huh? 
<laughs> I could use my cutter, but why? You know, it's so much fun to actually get to play with a pair of scissors every now and then. As long as you have, you know, a straight line to cut. Because if I didn't have a guide, I couldn't cut for doodles. Nope. Not a single doodle. It'd be all kinds of womper jawed and from here to eternity. And since I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and just measure this out for the other one. There we go. Make sure we're even. See, even if you're not, as long as you cut it a little bit bigger than what you have, you can always trim it. It's a lot easier to remove than it is to add. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to take this very carefully. Since I didn't flip it over, I don't want to accidentally put pencil mark on it like I did. There we go. Okay, so there's the front. I'm going to trim the back. Actually, let's do this. The reason I'm keeping the that little bitty corner that's showing instead of just cutting it straight down is that spot right there might be the right size to cut a circle out of or a shape or anything else that might that I might need so that it'll match. Okay, My little pieces I'll set aside, but these pieces I'll hold on to. Isn't that the cutest little bird? I swear. Okay, and honestly, I am so sorry, but I do not remember where I got this paper from. I do not. I know it came out of a kit, and I was trying to downsize my storage area, so I took a lot of my 12 by 12s and cut them into 6 by 6s so I'd end up with four sheets and four 6 by 6s out of one because I never use a whole 12 by 12. Eh, you know? Okay, so here we go. On the front, we will make sure that's lined up very nicely, just like that. And I'm going to use my favorite go-to. Me, I just like tape. If you've watched any of my other videos, you guys will understand why I try to stay away from glue. <laughs> I've had an unfortunate experience with glue when trying to use the restroom. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Make sure you wash your hands if you're crafting before you have to go pee. Okay? I promise. It will save you a whole lot of aggravation and embarrassment. But the laughter was rather fun. I will say that. There. That was definitely <laughs> a day to remember. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put one here and one here. All right, since I'm already out here, I might as well do the same with the other side. Okay, put that off to the side. And you can use this to color coordinate, you know, your papers. You can use it for anything you'd like. But I'm using a file folder because I had a bunch left over. And... They make great, you know, tag bases, card bases, things like that. Uh-oh, I forgot one. Nope, that's okay.
Now, some people will say, you know, well, I can't afford tape. That's okay. I couldn't either for a long time until I found a seller on AliExpress. And I get 10 rolls at a time for about six or seven bucks. So, yep. Alrighty, this one might take a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Okay, so what I do is... Let me pull off the side. There we go. All right, and I leave the two middle ones there. And there is a method to my madness, you shall see. it up as best I can. It started at the top since apparently my brain is not working. Maybe it's this one. That one works better. Alrighty. So while we got that one on, we pull out the two middles. And we'll pull off the bottom. There we go. And then just lay that down. And I said if you overcut it, it's better than undercutting because overcutting, oh, we did that really well. There's no trim. A little bit right there. But yeah, so we trimmed that up a little bit and there's a little bit on this side. Which is okay. I said it's a whole lot easier to trim it than it is to add it. Alright, and then there's the one side. So then I'll flip it over and we will do the same with this one. And the sides. Okay, and I'm leaving the two center ones and the bottom one. That way, if I mess up, I don't have so much to fight with to fix it. Okay, there we go. And now, yeah, this might take a little bit longer than 20 minutes, but hey, it's still, it's a quick craft. It's not a two hour long video and hope 
hopefully. And there we go. Now look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's one side and then there's the other. All right, and then all I did was I took two pieces of cardstock. You can use paper, you can use whatever you like, regular paper. All right, and let's see. And this is how I figured out where I wanted to fold it. It was almost in half, but I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller. See, I just put two pieces together. And then I cut it this way, four and a quarter, four and a quarter because it's eight and a half across. There we go. That one. Together, and there we go. Now, before I put those in, though, <clears throat> I took some of the strays and cut out four circles right there, and I glued two of them back to back. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually mark it this time because I didn't mark it last time. And I'm using my crocodile on the 1 8 inch hole punch, but you can also use a needle. Um, my favorite go-to before I got my crocodile was, <laughs> was an ice pick and a wooden cutting board. All right, grab a couple brads. I got these at Tuesday mornings today. I thought they were so pretty. They're a really pale blue glitter. Uh, I, just, I thought they were really, really pretty. Can you see that? And I think I got it for, it was a dollar, yeah, dollar forty-nine. Alrighty, so I'm going to take one, put it on the front, and when I pop it through, whoops, <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have pulled them apart already, I did, and now I can't get it through, that's my fault. I just wanted to make sure they weren't stuck together from the glitter paint that was on the and then I will close that but I'm not doing it super tight because there needs to be a little bit of give underneath the circle you see that right there yeah and then I will do the same on the back There we go. And there's a little bit of give. Then I will take some string. I got this really pretty, it looks like it's natural unspun or I don't know. It's very pretty. Very natural anyway. 
And I'm going to tie this in a knot. And of course, you can decorate the outside of this any other way you want. I just liked these images. I just thought they were very, very pretty. And then I'm going to cut a length. There we go. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to take my little signature. And if you wanted, you could probably fit two small signatures in here, but... I wouldn't. I mean, it depends on how big you leave the fold, too. You could leave that as big as you'd like. And let me find my needle. There we are. Now, on something this small, I only did two holes. So. And I didn't need my ice pick. And I didn't want to use the 1 8 inch because that was a little bit big. See, I just pop right through. And I'll do the same down here. Pop right through. And center it where I want it. Right there and there, that looks good. Poke a hole. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Poke a hole. And, oops, poke a hole. That was kind of a little off center, but that's all right. Take the same twine, cut a decent length. Maybe we could do a 30 minutes or less. Now I'll go in from the inside. And I'll pull that through, but not all the way. Oops. And then I'll go from this side, which I'm out of frame again. I'll go this side. And then just tie it a knot. There we go. And then trim up. And look how fast that was. And then what I did was I had some extra, extra charms, like beads, that were wire wrapped in my jewelry kit. So I figured I'd go ahead and, well, that one doesn't have a big enough hole. I don't feel like farting with it. Use the little bead and you can use a charm. You can use, you know, whatever you want. Kind of like the bead idea. Just kind of gives it a little bit of extra flair. There we go. I'm going to trim that just a little. And we are done. And look, that took 25 minutes. So a little bit more than, than your 20 minutes or less. So just another 
cute little idea. And you can decorate the inside if you like, you know, any way you want. I've got, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four more I want to do. And then I'll probably, I'll probably do some giveaways with those on my next, on my next video. So, but on that note, I want everybody to have a great day. Remember, always find the humor in life. If you don't, life sucks. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Is it that way or that way? Either way, subscribe. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Click the like button. You know the drill. Um, and share. Share, 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 share. Because it'll really help me out. So have a great day, everybody, and God bless.